Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase how we can test the speed of a part of our code in Java. And what I'm very simply doing is that I simply just get a current time in milliseconds from a system before and after running a piece of code. In this case, I simply print the start in time and then subtract and divide by thousand to get the time in seconds. So, for example, here I have a simple for loop running 100,000 times, adding one to my A value. And as you can see, it only takes 0 0.001 second. So one millisecond. Or maybe, I think it might be two sometimes, but it's very, see, it's only a short amount of time. And one thing to note, because we're testing in milliseconds, if I would only run for like a thousand times, it's not even gonna see a time difference because it's gonna be running faster than one millisecond. But let's do a hundred thousand times. And then add another for loop. So we're doing a for loop in a for loop. It's very quickly, it's going to be quite a bit slower because we both need to run a bunch more times, but also the loops into loops makes everything a bit slower. So now we're 100,000 times adding 100 values to A. And we can see now this takes 9 milliseconds. Or we can simply just add a few zeros. It now takes 50, 50 milliseconds. Half a second. So you can see we can quite quickly, but still this is gonna be, if this were a real case, it would be a lot of data. Because we're actually 100,000 times manipulating some data 10,000 times. So it's a lot of data. That's also what's interesting about this. If you have some case extracting some data from a database, for example, you could just put the start and end and then print around some kind of data manipulation or maybe some kind of sourcing algorithm or anything. And sometimes it might just be interesting to see. And often it's very useful if you have multiple solutions. You might have two solutions which might have pros and cons, each on their own. But to simply test which is faster on this machine, of course, it's going to be a bit different on each machine, but simply just get a basic understanding of which, which solution is faster. This is a very quick and very simple way of checking the speed of our code. So I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can use system.get current time millis to get a current time in milliseconds, and then simply just test the speed of a current specified code. If you enjoyed this quick video, please do like and subscribe, and wish you all a wonderful day.